At the White House today, the Biden administration promoting its plan to ease supply chain disruptions by boosting jobs in the trucking industry. Among those at the event, a former Illinois nurse who now makes her living driving a semi. WGN's Patrick Elwood has her story. The Biden Trucking Action Plan is designed to create a more sustainable supply chain, which has been the source of national shortages and surging prices on a variety of consumer goods. The plan's aim is to get more women and veterans into good paying jobs. And for Lola Thomas Albright, she's an example being put forth by the White House. I was a nurse. Um, I did hospice um, for about 10 years, but I've always wanted to be a truck driver. And my husband and I agreed once our children graduated from high school that I can go into trucking. After driving a school bus for five years, Lola took a job for a trucking company company downstate out of Hudson, Illinois, driving a big rig. They trained her and she's been behind the big rig wheel ever since. OTR is over the road uh, driving. I did that for two and a half years. I just switched to regional, but I've still been doing a lot of um, over the road driving. Over the road, we go to 48 states. Regional, you you don't leave, you don't go drive more than 500 miles from our terminal. And our terminal is in Hudson, Illinois. So if you get a load, it, it shouldn't be more than 500 miles one way. But if you go over the road, you can go anywhere. Sitting on her lap today and with her on much of her journey since COVID hit is her granddaughter, Lola Ann. When the pandemic hit, her mom couldn't leave her job. So Lola's eight-year-old granddaughter tagged along. Well, I took Lola Ann over the road with me and she was able to do e-learning from the truck. And she was she went to 31 states and during that time. So it's incredible. If you enjoyed the food you ate for breakfast, the clothes that you're wearing right now, or the device you might be using to watch this event, you can thank a truck driver for getting that to you. At today's press conference, they were right there, but that was just part of their big day. It has been phenomenal. Um, we, my granddaughter was able to sit at uh, Vice President uh, Harris's desk. We took lots of pictures. Uh, we've had lunch, met incredible people. It's just been a dream. Her advice to any vet and or woman interested in trucking is find a company that matches your criteria. Do not settle. High on her must-have list was safety. That was job one. There's not a lot of parking and the lighting. So just have beginning with a company that is willing to pay for uh, reserve parking. My company pays for our reserve parking. So if I get somewhere and the lighting's not, you know, the greatest, but they have parking in the front, I can use the company's credit card and pay for parking. Lola and her husband share six children and 12 grandchildren together. Lola Ann now has memories to last a lifetime. I remember when we went to Montana and got the local ice cream. Part of this new trucking initiative involves 100 U.S. companies offering those internships. Lola works for Nussbaum Trucking. Again, that's in Hudson, Illinois, not too far from normal. Reporting from the newsroom, Patrick Elwood, WGN News.